When you build a dynamic website, you'll most likely want it to respond to events. For example, if a user clicks a button, submits a form, or even just moves their mouse, you may want your application to handle such events and execute some code. In this video, let's see how to handle events with Vue. Again, we are going to start off fresh with an empty template. I'm going to add a new data property called name and set it to Vishwas. In the template, let's bind it with the mustache syntax. If we save the file and quickly take a look at the browser, Vishwas is displayed in the UI. Let's now add a button in our template. So a div tag and within the div tag, a button. The button text is going to be change name. And what we want is on click of this button, change the name from Vishwas to Batman. So we need to listen to the click event on this button. To listen to DOM events, Vue provides us with the V on directive. Let's understand the syntax. On the button HTML element, we add V hyphen on followed by a colon. This is followed by the event we want to listen to. In our case, it is the click event. On the right hand side, we specify the code that should be executed when the click event is fired. Our code is pretty simple. Change the name to Batman. So name, which corresponds to the name data property, is going to be equal to Batman. If we now save the file and take a look at the browser, we have the name Vishwas and the change name button. If I click on the button, the name data property is updated to Batman, which is rendered in the UI because of the mustache syntax. This pretty much is how event handling works in Vue. Use the Vion directive followed by the event you want to listen to and the code to execute on the right hand side. And the event can be any DOM event. For example, if I change click to mouse over, head back to the browser and move my mouse cursor over the button, the name changes to Batman. All right, now let's look at another example to make sure we understand this right. Let's implement a counter. So back in VS Code, I'm going to create a new data property called count and initialize it to zero. In the template, I'm going to render the value using the mustache syntax. Let's also add two buttons to increment and decrement the counter value. So button, text is increment and on click, we increment the counter value. So counter or count is equal to count plus one. Or you can also use the shorthand syntax of counter plus equals one. Similarly, let's add a decrement button. Decrement is the text and count is going to be minus equals one. If you now head to the browser, you can see that our counter works as expected. Now what we have seen here is an example of inline event handlers. The code to execute is present in the same line as the V on directive. This is great for simple and straightforward logic, but more often than not, the logic for many event handlers will be complex. So keeping your JavaScript code in the value of the V on directive is not feasible. In such cases, you can specify the name of a method you would like to call when the event is triggered. Let's understand with an example. In the script block, I'm going to add two methods to increment and decrement the count value. So increment, we simply increment the count value and decrement we decrement the count value. 
Now on the click event handler, we can assign the two methods, increment and decrement. If we now take a look at the browser, the counter still works as expected. But now that we have methods, we can create more buttons with different increment and decrement values. So back in VS Code, on the two methods, I'm going to add a parameter called num and change the method body to increment or decrement by num instead of one. So pass in num and increment by the same. Num and then decrement by the same. In the template, we can now specify an argument to the two event handlers. So parentheses, passing in one. We can also make copies of the two buttons, but this time pass in five as the argument. So increment one, increment five, change the text as well, and do the same with decrement five, decrement one, decrement five. Let's save the file and head to the browser. We can now increment by one, decrement by one, increment by five, or decrement by five. Our counter works as expected. All right, that is pretty much the fundamentals of event handling in Vue. Use the VON directive, followed by the event name, followed by the JavaScript code to execute, which can be simple inline logic or a method that contains more complex logic. Now there are a few more points to discuss about event handling. So let's take a look at those in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.